iced tea. Ice sweet tea just hits so different. Mmm. Sex is good, but have you had sweet tea? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Oh, it's so sweet! I'm fucking sweet, okay? How are you guys doing this absolutely wonderful, beautiful day? It is currently like 3 in the afternoon. I went to the gym earlier. I'm feeling my full fantasy. My fucking arms are looking nicer. It's a work in progress. Anyways, you guys, what is up? So today's video, I'm so excited to do a one brand tutorial. I've not done a one brand tutorial in so freaking long. It's been literally forever. And I used to do them all the time on my channel. So I thought it'd be really fun to do one on Kylie Cosmetics. I'm actually going to an event tonight, so I thought it'd be really fun to do the makeup, check in later on and see how the makeup wore because technically Kylie does not have a foundation. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be mixing some of her concealers to make my own like custom foundation. But she has basically everything else, but she also does not have mascara. She has no primer either but I'm gonna be making it work because I'm what sickening and I will always be that type of bitch I don't know why I had to get, you know, aggressive with that one. But that's what today's video is going to be. As always, if you guys like this video, if you guys are like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, please go and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you're new, what's up? I'm Manny M.U.A. and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. But yeah, let's go and get into today's video. <laughs> These are the Kylie Cosmetics concealers. It's just called the Skin Concealer. And honestly, you guys, I used to be obsessed with this concealer. I thought it was so freaking nice when it came out. And I used to use it all the time. I haven't used it in a while just because, you know, the new things come out and you just kind of like switch out and you like start to play with other products. But I decided to grab a couple shades. These are the three I'm going to be using. So there's a little bit of separation happening in the bottle itself up here. There's like some separation. It's a little wonky donkey, if you will. I'm just going to mix it around. Bring it around town. Still a little uh, wonky in here. We're gonna make it work. So we're gonna use my hand as our palette. <gasps> you guys, I'm being a literal artist right now. Are you proud? What I like about this concealer, guys, is it's more of a medium coverage. It's more of like a dewy-ish finish too. Like it's not super, super intense, which is why I'm gonna use it as my foundation. But look how pretty that like, like, oh my God, Ivory is my actual foundation shade. I did not even realize, call the FBI. It smells pretty good. I smell something sweet. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's this. No, it's fucking definitely not this. I smell something sweet and I don't know what it is. Okay, I'm just gonna start running this on my face because honestly, the whole me trying to be an artist and being sickening cute, the house down boots, it's not working for me. Okay, we're gonna use this as our foundation. You guys, and I'm using this on a little tart sponge. You guys, this is actually my, my go-to sponge right now. Like, this is what I've been using so much. Please, concealer, like I know you're more of a doing finish, but I really need you to work for me throughout the entire night because I'm literally going to an event tonight. So I need you. But you guys have to admit, dude, like low key, tell me that does not match so nicely. Bitch, ivory, I can get away with using ivory as my foundation shade. What? Let me turn it down a little bit too to see if you guys can see it a little bit better. But I feel like it's more true to color. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go in with another shade of concealer. We're gonna go in with the shade Stone and it's like a little bit of a lighter concealer. And I'm actually gonna use that as my real con Oh, cute, it's lighter than I thought. Hi, Stone. You guys, I honestly think that I always go in with too light of a concealer. I think I've discovered that about myself. Thug life, I guess. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that ivory shade and blend the edges so they can seem, so they can blend a little bit more seamlessly. And you guys, we also have the Kylie setting powder in the shade Translucent. I've never tried the powders before, so I'm very interested to try them out. They look really pretty online. Remember when she came out with them? I'm like, that looks really like nice because she has so many shades. I just want to feel it. Butter. It feels great. So we're going to go ahead and put the concealer on. We're going to pat that in. You guys, I honestly just really like the Kylie concealers. They're freaking bomb, dude. This is the full face using the, only the concealer right here. And honestly, of course, it's gonna look flawless. It's fucking concealer, like, let's be honest. But I think it looks really, really pretty. I like the finish of the concealer. I love the dewiness of it. So I'm gonna go and take that translucent powder, taking it on the back of the sponge, and I'm gonna set my under eye right here with that translucent powder and see how that reacts. I love that it's not giving me a color. Oh, <gasps> thank you. It's not oxidizing what I already have down as the concealer. Because honestly, you guys, I've gone in with so many freaking translucent powders that are translucent, but end up freaking oxidizing the house down. So how is it translucent if you're making me oxidize? That's what I'm wondering. You like my little voice for being a fucking puta? I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now that the powder feels amazing. 
I'm looking at the mirror, hold on. It looks really, you guys, it looks really nice. It's very, very smooth. I'm very impressed. But also I am more on the oily side, you guys. So I don't know how it's gonna react on people that are more on the dry side. I have no idea. But so far, it's it's acting really nicely. So we're gonna see how it wears throughout the day because I am gonna be taking it to the event. Will I get super oily? Will I stay pretty relatively matte? We will find out. These hairs, they wanna be fucking chopped. I will literally, pew, don't try me. And I spent a lot of money on you. I take good care of you and this you fucking dream. God damn, dude. Also, what I like about the powders, I feel like it's leaving me a subtle sheen. It's like very, 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 very subtle. Like it's not completely, completely intensely matte. It has a soft sheen to it, matte, if that makes any kind of sense. I have jizz lips. And that's a problem. Okay guys, another new item we're gonna be taking that I have not used yet myself. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Press Bronzer in the shade Hosty. This was like one of those like Kylie favorites, I think it was. I like the color of it because I feel like it's more of a cool toned bronzer. And you guys know I love a cool toned bronzer. So let's go and dip into it. <laughs> and literally nothing here with the brush. <laughs> okay, let me really run it. Okay, calm down. You guys know how I feel about bronzers if they're too overly pigmented? This one's not. It was actually pressed a lot harder. Y'all know I like that a lot because if it's overly pigmented, help. I'm gonna go ahead and put Toasty in the bronzy zones. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually quite pretty on the temples. And the reason I like it is because it's not shiny. It's more of a like satin matte finish. It just gives you like a nice amount of color because it's not overly pigmented as well. And you can build it. You guys know how I feel about bronzer like that. Like if I can't build you, I'm throwing you away. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not. But like, it's really annoying. So this one, you guys, I would have to say is truly like a win. Like this is probably one of my favorite products so far. It blends very nicely. It's not too intense, but it's not like no color either. Does that make sense? Like it's not like a little bit, but it's not a lot. It's the perfect amount of the position. And you guys, by the way, I I was at the gym today, right? And I saw friend desk guy. Oh my God. Looking gorgeous as ever. Like honestly, I don't know what to do about him. Like I don't know what to do because he literally is gorge. And I get flustered every time I see him and I literally don't know how to act. I'm thinking about making a video. Oh my God. Should I make a video talking about my gym experiences? Would you guys be down to see that? It's more of like a story time about a couple things that have happened to me at the gym that I go to. Would you be down for that? Let me know in the comments bar below. I think it would actually be fucking hilarious. Okay guys, by the way, and the bronzer builds very nicely. So that is probably one of my favorite products so far. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with some blush and I'm gonna take the Kylie Cosmetics, obviously barely legal pressed powder blush. And I'm gonna go and toss that onto the cheek, which is in the shade barely legal. I think it's cute, like it's a cute blush, but this one almost feels like it's not pigmented enough. It's a pretty color. Once you build it there, obviously you have to do a couple, like I would say like three to four layers to get it to like a good spot, but it takes some time to build. And there's a little bit of a subtle sheen to it as well. Woo, it took some time, but we got the blush there. I'm not a huge fan of the blush to be honest. I feel like it really takes like literally six layers to get it to somewhere. And it's like, I get the building process. You guys know I love to build, but this is like where I'm really like fucking, come on. <laughs> it's like a cauldron, just fucking me. I feel like it just takes a little bit too long for me on that one. So I'm not a huge, huge, huge fan of the blush. However, love the bronzer. I think it's absolutely amazing. Now I'm gonna go in with highlighters and you guys, obviously this was the, the Stormy collection, I believe, but she came out with this really cute palette, right? And it's literally like four highlighters in one. And honestly, I thought this was one of the best highlighter products that she's come out with. These are honestly sickening. Like they're, they're gorgeous. They're just nice. Like they're just so reflective and intense. And I feel like that's exactly what I'm going for here on this little gay day. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And that is in the shade I think Stratus. Um, but first, let's go ahead and spray her face a little bit. I'm gonna take the Kylie setting spray. Ah! Okay, that was a lot more intense than I thought it would be. Force fine. Mm -hmm. Shout out like a fucking rocket. Warn me next time. Thank you. I'm gonna go in with the highlighter. You guys, dude, 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 dude. Is this not wild? Like, it's wild. 
Honestly, we're just putting it everywhere at this point. We're just dousing her everywhere I see fit. But the other highlighters, the Kylie ones that are like in this packaging, those are cute. They're okay. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of them. I'm a fan of like this. And when she came out with the wet ones that are like more gushy in the pan, those were really nice too. I like that one and I like these ones. The individual highlighters, I didn't like them as much. I didn't like the formula as much. I felt it was a little bit more drier and a little bit more powdery than the other ones. So I feel like these and the wet ones are a lot nicer in formula. So if you guys want to try some Kylie highlighters, I would try to go for the palettes instead because I truly think that there's a humongous difference between these and the individuals. That's my opinion allegedly. Okay, how you doing? I just contoured my nose a little bit with that toast shade. It's a good fucking contour shade too because it's more cool. I really like that fucking bronzer. I freaking like it. I'm gonna apply some more. I'm on one. I'm so sorry, but Mercury's in retrograde and I'm fucking on one right now. So now you guys, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the brow product because Kylie does have brow product, which is dope. We have these little brow pencils and I actually did a full video on the Kylie Cosmetics brow stuff and I'll leave it linked down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. I compared it to the Anastasia collection because literally like it almost mirrored completely. Obviously the Kylie stuff is a little bit more inexpensive than the Anastasia stuff. And I'll let you guys know in that video whether or not like it's a good dupe for Anastasia. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the pencil in the shade Dark Brown and it's literally just a good everyday brow pencil. I'm gonna go and take the shade Dark Brown and fill in the brows lightly from the base going upwards. I also like this because it's not overtly pigmented either. It's like a good amount of product gets put down. I just want to structure them because I feel like I have pretty good brows, you know? And so I want to kind of keep that structure nicely and just follow the natural flow of my brow. I've tried to do shit different with my brows, you guys. I tried to do the soap brow and fucking turn out like a flop. So I just tend to just now follow my natural brow shape and I just go with it and fill from there because my brows are stubborn mules. They're stubborn mules. Sorry, Kevin Bacon wasn't in Footloose. Gorgeous. Who is she? Who is she? So that's the difference between the two. One is obviously just darker, more filled in. One's still sickening, just not as good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go and fill in the other brow off of camera. You guys, by the way, so this pencil, I do think that is good. I would recommend it. Okay. Okay guys, so we are now zoomed on in. I did my brows. I primed my eyes with the Kylie concealer. And this is what they all look like right now so far. This is the skin, you guys, up close, by the way. If you, I just want you guys to see it. It's looking really nice with the concealer as the foundation. Um, everything blends really nicely. It flows really nicely. Pretty impressed so far, to be honest. Pretty impressed so far. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the eyes. I went ahead and I just grabbed my favorite Kylie palette that they've ever came out with. This is the Nice palette. And this, I think, came out like, what, like two years ago, maybe, during their holiday launch. And this is the color story. Honestly, it's definitely just by far my favorite color story that they've ever done. And I've used this several times since I got it. I just vibed with it. The house down, boots. We're gonna go in and do like a little bit more of a pinky moment, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a Morphe M535. You can use code MANDYMUA to save yourself some money on Morphe if y'all are interested. I'm gonna go take the shade Miracle. You know, I feel like Kylie's brand, they have come out with palettes that are not my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. Like there was some, like there was like one Halloween one one year that I was like, what the fuck is going on there? But I feel like this one really just spoke to me. I thought the quality of the shadows was very nice. So I figured I would just kind of pull this out of the graveyard for this look. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Macaron, which is a really pretty dusty pink shade. Same brush. Now that's gonna go into the crease. Like look, you guys, like, they're just like nicely pigmented shades. Like, I really just enjoy this palette a lot. And I'm just diffusing it out. We're just blending. And I'm just taking this into the crease, you guys. I'm using a dense blending brush to not only apply the color, but to blend it out as well. That's why I like a brush like this. For example, because I feel like not only is it gonna give me the blend that I want, it's gonna let me deposit product nicely as well. And that's why I'm doing it. I'm putting it into the crease just to really, really, really enforce and you know create this depth in the crease. And I like to go a little bit higher than my natural crease because I feel like I have you know hooded lids. So I wanna make sure I can do like the best that I can with the eye space that I do have. Because I do have a good amount of space Space between my brow and my lash line. However, because my lids are hooded, I kind of have to like kind of fuck with it a little bit more and I have to really like, you know, finesse my crease a little bit higher than I would naturally go. Like my normal eye, it'd be right in here, right in that fold, but I like to go way above it. So when my eyes are open, you can still see the shadows. So that's just like, you know, a little trick for if you're hooded. At least it's like something that I noticed that makes a huge difference for me. Okay, cute. So I love this so much. I'm gonna take this shade right here, you guys. This is a Kylie eyeliner. This is in the shade brown. Okay, I'm gonna go and take that and I'm gonna run that on my lash line. This is the first time I've ever used a Kylie eyeliner. Very creamy. Very creamy. I like that. 
a little more dry than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be even more creamy than this. I just, that's what I thought in my head. But it still goes on quite nicely. What I'm doing here by adding this eyeliner first is I'm really building depth and dimension to lay on shadows or a color on top of it to give me that like smokiness and longevity of the look. I feel like that I'm like really, I'm like out here teaching. Like what is happening? <laughs> I haven't like, I feel like I haven't done a tutorial tutorial in so long or like talked about why I do certain things in a minute. But I feel like it's nice to kind of go back to your roots a little bit and just kind of talk about something. But this brown liner, you guys, is actually very nice. It blends really easily. Harder than I thought it would be to blend. To be honest, I thought it would be even more slick. But I think that might be actually a good thing when on putting it on the eyes because it kind of gives you like a nice like little control. I'm just gonna go in with this brush. This is a Morphe E36. And I'm gonna go into the shade Wonderland. Your body is a... Thank you. I'm gonna take that and place it over. Ooh, child! See how it just gives you that depth? I'm gonna put that into the crease as well, actually. And we're gonna start building out this little crease moment right here. You can see as I apply it up here, it like diffuses the color easily. But here it has like such depth and dimension because you're adding that nice extra layer. Mmm! I can almost taste it. What is happening here? Ma'am, call Area 51 right now. Why is it not applying there? No, it, it is applying there, but it just looks so much darker there. Okay, never mind. I was, I was having a moment, sorry. You guys, what the, what is that? Okay, you know what? Eyeliner. We're gonna place that eyeliner in that spot. You guys, when in a crisis, Tim Gunn says, make it work. Baby, you make it work. So we're gonna place that eyeliner there as well as almost a base. And now I'm gonna go in with Wonderland again and place on top of it and see what we're getting. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God, you guys, that was really rough. Like I really had to go there. Were you guys scared too? I was scared, wow. It's happening again. It's happening right there. I know what we're gonna do. Don't worry, you guys, we're, we're okay. It's gonna look like shit for now, but don't you worry. You guys, I don't know what happened. Like, I don't know what was going on there. Like, I don't know if it was my eye acting up. Like, is it the shadow not picking up correctly? I literally don't know, because I do have spots on my eyes that literally just reject pigment. And was it one of those moments, or was it like the shadow being whack as fuck? Like, I don't know. Okay, so what we're gonna do to make it work is we're gonna take gumdrop. I'm gonna put that up to right there kind of give us that coverage, that cover. See that? It's almost like we meant to make that happen. You guys, honestly, when life gives you lemons, you make sweet tea. That's what you do, okay? And right now we're making a sweet, sweet nectar. Oh, we got it there, you guys. I just want to apologize to my eye and apologize to y'all for putting you through that torment. That was so scary. That was terrifying. What if like I couldn't make it work? What if I didn't save it? I would have been screwed. I'm gonna take the shade Jack Frost in the palette. Use that as my highlight color. Ooh, that's a pretty shade in the corner as well. I went and I sharpened the Kylie pencil. I'm gonna run it on my lower lash line as well. Ooh, it actually is really creamy down here. Maybe the tip just wasn't creamy, but once you sharpen it, you get like, it's a lot. Wow, what the fuck? It's like became a different pencil. Okay, so um, if you think that your Kylie uh, eyeliner is dry, sharpen it and it will become a new man. That was crazy. I don't think I've ever experienced that before, where you sharpen it and you got lower and it became so much more creamy. Okay, then I guess we're just gonna kinda go along with it and just never speak of it again. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Blizzard, which is like a duochrome purple blue thing. I'm gonna toss that. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, the fallout, no, no. Don't ruin me. Okay, actually, because the fallout is so real, give me one second. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that powder again to catch it. Ooh, that was terrifying. Taking that shade Blizzard. Oh, we're gonna do that one more time, rewind. Brrr. We're gonna take that shade Blizzard. And we're gonna pack that over the brown. Because there's literally like colorful specks on my fucking nose from the fucking fallout. It's fine. Easy breezy beautiful. Shut up. I still think the eye is gorgeous. I can make it work. It's the fucking nose that I'm I'm terrified. The amount of fallout that that shade has is unfucking real. Come on, like I get fallout, I get it. I get fallout, I understand. But that was like, mm -hmm. Okay guys, so that is that on the eye. What do you guys think? I think it turned out really nice. 
That's pretty. That's a pretty ass eye. I like that. I'll be right back. I'm gonna finish the other eye and put some lashes off camera because Kylie doesn't have lashes or mascara. And I'll be right back for the lip and we'll be done with the full face powder. Okay, you guys, we have the eyes done. I went in and I just tossed on a wing. I felt like the look needed it. It's cute, it's a very basic look. Nothing crazy, nothing ham, but I think it's a very, very, very pretty, smoky, sultry, like, come hither moment, if you will. But anyways, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the lips now. I'm gonna go ahead and use the kit, the little lip moment. I'm gonna take the shade Charm Lip Liner and Charm Liquid Lipstick. These need to be sharper out of the fucking box. Okay, look at that little thing. Look at that little, that little tyke. It is not usable right away. Like, you have to fucking sharpen this bit. <laughs> it's a very pretty nude lip liner. I honestly think Kylie's lip liners are great. They're one of my favorite things that she has in her brand. Okay, so that's just with the lip liner on only. That's a gorgeous lip liner. It truly is. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Charm. And this is the uh, liquid lipstick. Oh, this is the velvet liquid lipstick. Yes! The velvet liquid lipsticks to me are so much better than her matte liquid lipsticks. I actually don't like her matte liquid lipsticks very much. I feel like they're very, very drying. So I think that her velvet ones are literally like 10 times better. I'm not kidding. This is a lot more pink than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a little bit lighter or like a little bit more nude. Jesus. So pretty though. Oh my god. Okay, so that's that. We're gonna let that like dry down. Just set, just settle down. It's not gonna fully dry matte, obviously, because it's a velvet liquid lipstick. But we're gonna let it kind of like you know sink in a bit. So I also have these. These are the high glosses. I've heard great things about them. I bought this one. I never tried them out before. So we're gonna try them out. They smell like the liquid lipsticks. I'm not a huge fan of the scent either. <laughs> not a huge fan. It's just a little strong for me. Mmm. Okay, you guys, and this is the full face using all Kylie Cosmetics. Full face using only Kylie Cosmetics. This is what it turned out to be. So, I'm gonna be checking in a little bit later on tonight with how the face ends up holding up, but I do pretty much have a, a very clear verdict of what I think about the products, whether or not I would recommend them to you guys, so we're gonna go through them. Also, you guys, I wanted to quickly say, I feel like with Kylie Cosmetics and influencers reviewing her products, you can't win. If you like her products a lot, you're kissing her ass. If you don't like them, it's just you're just being a hater and you're just trying to get on her fucking PR list. And like, you know, it's literally like a lose-lose. So for me, I literally don't even give a fuck anymore. I'm literally just gonna review the product based off of just that product itself and whether or not I like it personally, and that's just what it is. Okay, so guys, first things first, we're gonna go in, we're gonna talk about the concealer. So concealer, guys, I honestly would purchase these again. I think they're really nice. I like the coverage of them, I like the finish of them. I think they're really, really, really pretty underneath the eyes, and I used to wear it all the time when it came out. I would recommend these. Next, let's go in with the powder. Honestly, guys, I really enjoyed the powder. I would recommend this one. I feel like it felt really nice on my skin. It didn't look too heavy or drying on my eye under eyes either. It was just really, Nice, and I don't know if it was playing nicely with the concealer because the concealer is more of a dewy finish and it just kind of meshed really, really nicely. But I think that the powder is actually really nice. It's very buttery, it feels nicely. I'm gonna see how it wears throughout the day because my face is literally set. So we're gonna see tonight how it looks when I come back. But I, as of now, I would recommend the powder for sure. Bronzer, I definitely would recommend it. I really, really like it, actually. I'm gonna be definitely using that again. Blush, would I recommend it? No, I wouldn't buy this again, to be honest. I just don't think it's my cup of tea. I think that the color, once you get it there, is pretty, but I had a layer like literally like six to seven times, and I just don't think it's worth it for me. And it's just not pigmented enough, so I just don't think for me it's worth it. So I would say no on the blushes. The highlighter. I think is really, really nice and I would recommend it if you guys are really into intensely blinding highlights specifically. I really like these two. These two shades right here, they're very, 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 very pretty. So I would recommend that one. But however, if you're, if we're talking about the individual highlighters, I would not recommend the individual highlighters. I just don't think they're as good. They feel more powdery than the other one, than this formula. So I just like the palette formulas more than I like the individuals. The brow pencil, I would recommend. If you guys watch my video, you guys know I would definitely recommend it. The brow pencil is a yes. Eyeliner, I think this is really nice when you sharpen it first, and then it kind of gets the kind of the, the emollients flowing, and I feel like it actually becomes a lot more creamy, and it blends really nicely. Very nicely, actually. Definitely highly recommend this one. I think it's really, really nice. I love the brown one. The eyeshadow palette, this is my favorite one that they've ever come out with, with the color store. I think it's so beautiful and so nice. Some of the shades in here are a little not so amazing. You know, when I put Blizzard on my lower lash line, the color is so stunning, but it's so extremely powdery. The fallout is very, 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 very 
real. So you have to kind of be careful with that and watch out for that. But if you guys like the colors, the mattes are very nice. The shimmers are nice. It's just kind of like a couple here and there that you're like, mm, I have to work with this a little bit more than I should. You know, it's more of like a personal opinion. Like if you like the colors, for sure, I would recommend it. If you guys don't like the colors, then I would not recommend it. The lip products, I would recommend the lip liner. I think it's really, really nice. The velvet liquid lipsticks, I also think is very nice. The liquid lipsticks, I do not recommend. I just don't think they're very nice. I don't think they feel good on the lips. I think they're very, very, very drying and they kind of crust off my lips. Literally like, hell no. If that formula was a little bit less dry and drying, I'd be into it, but because it's not, it's very, very, very drying and it kind of like crumbles off my lips. I don't like it. The high gloss, I do recommend. I think it's really nice. The scent is a little bit strong and overpowering, which I do not like at all. It just smells like a plasticky vanilla. I just don't, I don't know how to describe it <laughs> than a plasticky vanilla. But the formula itself is very nice. I feel like the gloss is insanely glossy. It looks really, really, really pretty on the lips and it felt nice going on. Oh, and the setting spray. Setting spray, you guys, I actually would recommend. I've used this many times. And it's great for people that are more oily and it keeps the makeup on longer. If you are dry, I probably wouldn't recommend this because it was a little bit more drying on the skin But it's great for me because I'm oily so I would recommend if you're oily formula because it stays on It's like very like Urban Decay All Nighter like it's a heavier setting spray for sure That is that for the goodies here. I would definitely say it's more of a win on the Kylie Cosmetics full face tutorial I think the face turned out really pretty. I mean you guys can see yourself if you guys like it or not It just kind of depends on what you guys think, but I think that turned out really nice I'm gonna head out you guys I'll be doing a little bit baby of a check-in later on tonight to see how the face wore but so far you guys I honestly think it was a success. Woo! Okay guys, what is up? It is the end of the night aka I am back from my event I was out for about five hours and this is what the face looks like now few notes obviously the lip is different I switched it out later on before I went to the event because I just wanted to be a little bit more poppy. I added glitter to my eye look just to make it more poppy for the event as well. But the check-in is for the complexion. That's what really matters for the check-in. So this is what the face looks like with just the concealer and the powder. And honestly, it still looks really nice. I have, of course, like a little crack right here. A crack on my left side where I usually get them anyway. The blush has feigned a little bit. It's not as intense as it was a couple hours ago. The bronzer has lasted nicely on my temples and my cheeks. The highlighter has stayed blinding throughout. The eye look obviously stayed the same other than me adding the glitter to the bottom and top. But all in all, you guys, it stayed really nicely for throughout the event, throughout the night. Everything's still pretty good. I'm not that oily either. Like you would think that I'd be an oil slick by now and usually I would be, but I'm not. So I'm honestly very shocked and kind of blown away with how the concealer has held up. Of course, other than the crack right there. The coverage stayed on the skin nicely. I'm still pretty freaking mad after five hours. I'm shocked at how mad I still am. Also, of course, the setting spray made a difference. And of course, the powder did too. All of these things combined, I feel like are really geared towards an oily skinned person. I would not say that it's as geared towards someone who is a little bit more on the dry side. That's just my personal opinion. That's what I think. But all in all, I would say it did a great job of holding up. Good job, concealer as foundation from Kylie and powder and setting spray. <laughs> okay guys, I love you so much and I'll see you very soon with potentially a video about my gym experiences. You guys wanna see that or not? Tell me right now. Tell me right fucking now. What do I do with a fucking bag the size of molasses? That's not her thing. My giggle is turning quite gay. Don't look at the fucking paleness. Look at the fucking muscle. Mmm. Mmm. I like that. I like it. Do I even know any other descriptive words other than sickening? Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my... Okay, now let's calm down. I'm just trying to think. I knock soon, I'm on. Who's ever watched The Mummy? Okay, you guys, literally, I just scrap... <gasps> no! I have a flea bite right here, and literally I itched it so much that it's a full flap of skin missing. It's flapping. It's a full flap missing. Help me. No. No. I love nudes. I love getting them. I love sending them. I like so pale right now. Kisses and blessings to you all. I see you later. I see you later. Look at that eye look though. Look at that glitter. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. Come and fly with me. I have problems, and we're not gonna talk about it. We're just not.